Hi, I'm Harley. I'm a poet from Hastings. I'm in eighth grade. Oh, yeah! A handful of quarters and a little bit of luck is all that separates you from the big white teddy bear, the one with the sewn on heart at the claw machine. So you push into quarters, but find it odd when you find yourself waiting for control of the claw. So you try again. You press in another quarter. And you try again, press in your fourth, and you try again and again, and soon your hand is empty. An employee walks by and sticks a note to the machine, declaring it out of order. <laughs> I myself am out of order. Like that claw machine and the note stuck to me was the diagnosis that proved that I wasn't working correctly. That note tells people to try a different machine since you can't get much out of this one. The diagnosis of my claw machine mind is as follows. Disorder one, the claw is too tired, too weighted to move, unable to work for someone who has paid for it. And it only gets worse when the guilt of not working spirals deep down farther and farther my depression. Disorder two, the claw does not like being seen, being watched, being depended on so dearly for that teddy bear, and it's just trying to do its best, but the claw is too nervous, and it trips over itself, so it stays still, my anxiety. Disorder three, say that perhaps the claw moves, but it's not stable, fumbling to its almost correct spot. The out of order people who carry this disorder are not often seen on the stage being proud of it. Because sometimes our out of order note, our diagnosis is not written plainly, but you can see it in how I bite my nails, how I chew my lip and chew my cheek, how I space out and lose focus so fast. And I know I'm out of order and there's not much to be done about where I fall on the autism spectrum. But like a claw machine, if you are gentle, careful, precise in how you press in that fifth quarter, cooked slightly. It slips in so perfectly. If you are cautious with the joystick and cautious with my emotions, the claw machine will work and you can get the teddy bear that you sought out. But if you aren't gentle and soft, and if you are not patient with me, if you expect me to work for you, perfectly for you, I'm sorry. That teddy bear with the sound on heart is saying right with me because I'm a little out of order. <laughs>